For many years, the Chubb buildings stood empty. A landmark on the Wolverhampton skyline and a testament to the town's importance during the Industrial Revolution. No longer used as the manufacturing centre for Chubb locks, the building gradually became derelict and fell into a state of disrepair. The restoration of the Chubb buildings is the result of a unique combination of interests. The result of careful planning by a consortium of individuals and organisations who shared a vision. A vision to provide a breadth of facilities in a project which brings together the public, private and voluntary sectors. To combine a range of business and leisure activities under one roof. Upper floors of the buildings will be transformed into studio offices, tailor-made for small firms involved in media-related industries. Units will vary in size and will retain the character and ambience of the original buildings with exposed brickwork and ceiling joists and stained timber floors as an integral part of the design. The major new building development on site is a purpose-built cinema. Tenants will also enjoy access to the more open public spaces within the complex. Lighthouse Media Centre will establish shops, galleries and a tea room on the ground floor and the central courtyard will be glazed to form a conservatory housing a wine bar and ample space for touring exhibitions. The glazed atrium will incorporate a gallery at first floor level which will form a bridge linking the old to the new. This is a very important venture for Wolverhampton and also for all those of us who are involved in inner city regeneration in the region. There has been uh, a question mark really hanging over the future of the Chubb building now for, for a number of years and those of us who've been involved regionally on the scene have been very anxious that there should be uh, a viable project which would um, enable it to be kept and refurbished and, and reused because it is a very important building to Wolverhampton. Well, I think it's the idea of having something which isn't just going to be nine till five, but is going to be open all day, uh, going to be open at weekends, and is going to be able to provide a focus for a whole new set of business and commercial and leisure activities for the town centre. It's been a very complex project to put together. It's taken a long time, uh, and it's succeeded so far because of a genuine partnership between central government, my department, uh, the local authority, uh, and the private sector through Midland Industrial Association and indeed some other important sponsors like the, the uh, British Film Institute. Well, technically, Midland Industrial Association is a friendly society. That is to say, a non-profit making organisation uh, whose intention is originally was to help unemployment or, or help mitigate the effects of unemployment by taking old buildings, redundant buildings, refurbishing them, modernising them and turning them into small uh, managed workspaces.